Hey, it's Brain Muffin, the Lifting Nerd. And uh, today we have a very interesting article. I've, I've been hearing some rumors, not rumors, but you know, the hubbub about this. And I don't really know why. So I found out why hundreds of brewers are all planned to make the exact same IPA. So this case comes from uh, the takeout.com. And this is Kate Bruno, looks like, or Katie Bruno. Normally, craft brewers focus on differentiation, standing out from the crowd and brewing beers unlike everyone else. But as, all, as of this week, more than 400 breweries around the country have pledged to all brew the exact same IPA recipe for a good cause. Okay. We've previously reported on Chico, California brewery, uh, Sierra Nevada's efforts to raise money for people devastated by the Camp of Woolsey fires. Sierra Nevada's brewery uh, was itself almost in the camp's fire path that reportedly displaced 10% of the brewery's workforce. To further raise funds for fire relief, this sounds great. Uh, Sierra Nevada has created an IPA called Resilience IPA with 100% of sales going to the campfire fund. i got to find some of this before it's gone and, and review it. The brewery, brewery's founder, Ken Grossman, then called on every brewery in America to brew the same beer, providing the recipe for resilience so others could replicate it and donate further proceeds to the fund. Malt and hop suppliers have also said they will donate raw. Oh, that's awesome. Raw ingredients for brewing this beer. Oh, man, that is that is awesome. More than 400 breweries have signed up as of this week, according to craftbeer.com. Sierra Nevada will begin brewing 2,000 barrels of resilience, almost 500,000 pints on November 27th. Oh, so this was a while ago. Uh, giving to, oh no, no, on so-called Giving Tuesday. Uh, no, this is coming up, yep. With the goal of having this beer on shelves for, by early 2019, keep an eye on Sierra Nevada's still updating list of participating breweries to find out. So I'm going to... We're going to we're going to take a look at that in a moment. So that's it. OK, so we have some discussion hijacking this comment thread. Uh, but are we going to look into this Trillium debacle that's blowing up on beer advocates over the last day or so? So much for the Trillium. What? I've been following it. I don't know what that's about. Economics of running a brewery could be of interest for a long form piece. Uh, OK, uh, go ahead. Going to go ahead and give a shitty person take care. A lot of hops get burned up in these fires. They're going to jack up the prices of hop beers, hoppy beers in the areas that got burned because of that. Uh, getting a ton of to dump in the hops right now will leave in the playing field somewhat. And okay, actually, I thought the fires were further north. I'm mean, the hops were growing hard. I think this is the correct take. Uh, years in advance. Okay, I, I don't know. Uh, so there is a full discussion, um, but it's obviously not going to line up, unfortunately. At least that person was honest uh, about what they were doing. And so here's resilience uh, into your birthday. Okay, so um, I, I can move this around, I guess. Man, this is awesome. I have Eastern Brothers, Farmers. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, we're going to pause right here. I'm gonna... Okay, so this should give us, yep, this will be good enough. List of all the breweries uh, that are participating in the uh, Resilience Butte County Proud IPA. So there you go, Dogfish Head. Oh, awesome. So there's a really good chance I'm going to be able to try multiple versions of this. We get Magic Hat, Mad Tree here in Cincinnati. That is awesome. Uh, I know I saw Stone, a Stone Arch. Um, the, is the Stone Brewery not participating? That's kind of weird. Um, I don't know where they are in, in relation to the fires. Uh, the brewer's cabinet so we have so here in cincinnati we have um river town let's see if that would be in the r's let's be down here i think uh that's one uh ryan geist is doing it revolution revolutions here I, i've heard of them i don't remember if they're in cincinnati or not doesn't look like river town is listed um but uh the two the two biggest ones i mean mad tree and ryan geist are the ones that kind of they didn't get started too long ago. Rivertown and and uh, Mount Carmel were long before them, but they're both bigger than those that brewery. The, either of those breweries, Rivertown went all sours. That may be why they're not participating um, as well. So it looks like those are the only two Cincinnati breweries of note that uh, are um, listed. Anyway, uh, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see. It would be M O or M T, and that would be right in here, and it's not. Uh, so, um, I wonder if like the Taft Ale House is going to make something just to, to be on, uh, only in, in the restaurant. That would be interesting. Nope. They're not listed either. So, um, that's, that's awesome. I mean, there's obviously the Monk's Cellar, uh, 
No worries, Brewing Company. No data. Oh, wow. Flagstaff Brewing, Four Peaks. Some of these I've heard of. A lot of Funky Buddha I've heard of. Um, a lot of these I have not. Most of these I have not. Um, Goose Island, that's good. Goose Island Brew House, Philadelphia. I know I saw Mikeller, San Diego, uh, Honolulu, Hop Nuts, Independence Brewing. So that's, you know, obviously some of these may only make enough to get it local. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we get here in Cincinnati. So at least Ryan Geist and Mad Tree, two big ones. So you have the malt suppliers providing some malts and uh, wholesalers. So hop suppliers, that's from all over the place. That's awesome. Uh, do they list the recipe? I would really like to make uh, this recipe as a home brewer. That would be awesome too. I mean, just to kind of in spirit participate. Um, I may tweet that out and say, hey, well, let us... Um, let us let's participate in spirit, you know, even if it's just in spirit, because we can't obviously charge for ours or may, raise. We could still raise money, but that would be awesome uh, to do, kind of raise our glass um, in spirit of what's going on there and all those fires in California. So there we go. So there we have, uh, you know, what Sierra Nevada is doing and why uh, so many breweries are, are making this uh, all at once, you know, over how many hundreds, 400 breweries. Uh, I think it's great and showing the community of the craft brewers uh, banding together to help each other. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like, and thanks for subscribing. Bye.